Hello everyone and welcome to Sutton's Days and to Croctober. Yes, has this not been a phenomenal month filled with slow cooker recipes? So much fun, so much good stuff. Slow cookers are just like magical and you know, it's all about magic and witches on Halloween, right? So we are going to have some fun for this final day of Croctober, and we are going to make a witch's brew. Yes, we are, because what better way to celebrate a hot meal than to have a witch's brew on Halloween? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Makes me so happy and warm and fuzzy. Look at I got my I got my witchy my witchy apron on. Yes, okay. So, thank you, Jenny Goff, for inviting me to participate with Croctober. Thank you for such a great collaboration. I mean, 30 channels, 30 channels. This was fantastic, absolutely loved it. So now, let's get out those cauldrons. Let's get out those spoons. Let's do a little kitchen witchery with some witch's brew. As always, I will put a link for the recipe down below. I will also put a link for the recipe that I adapted this from, uh, cause it's a little different than mine. You can always take recipes and change them up so that they best fit you and yours, okay? This is gonna be so good. Now, to explain the ingredients just a little bit, you're gonna need one pound of ground beef and one pound of sausage. You can have spicy sausage if you like, or just plain sausage. In this case, for those of you that are new here, um, I'm a food preservation enthusiast, enthusiast, when I can say it. So I have ground beef and I have sausage that I canned up. So this is gonna take a lot of my prep time right out. Now, can of condensed tomato soup. You need some carrot chips. These make life a lot easier. You need some garlic. And for those of you that are new to me, um, I'm also a consultant for Thrive Life Foods. It's a freeze-dried food company that is absolutely phenomenal. If you're interested, definitely send me an email. My email address is down below. I would love to talk to you about Thrive Life Foods. So I have some freeze-dried garlic. This stuff is the bomb. And then some freeze-dried onion and some um, celery. Yes, okay. You need a box of beef bone, bleh, beef bone broth and you need some whole mushrooms, okay? But we'll get to those just a little bit later. So these are the basics of the ingredients. Let's get this party started and brew up some awesome stuff. What's nice about this is that you can grab these ingredients and you can put it all together just in time for everyone to go out trick-or-treating. And then when you come back, poof, dinner is served, right? If you can get them away from those bags of candy. Now, if you don't have canned beef and sausage, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take that and you're going to want to brown that up. Okay, so go ahead and cook it off and then put it into your crock pot. Now we're going to put in the ground beef. Okay, so the cooked ground beef goes in here. This is already cooked. So I'll just put that in the jar. Dun, dun, dun. And then the ground sausage, same thing. Just put that in the jar. I love mixing ground beef with sausage because it just really makes such a great flavor for whatever you're making, okay? Now we're gonna add four cups of beef broth, which is one box. This is a nice hearty brew, yes it is. Sure to please most everybody in your family. And it'll be a little fun too. I'll show you guys that part. Okay, um, I will put the, in the recipe card below, I'll put ingredients uh, for if it's not freeze dried. Okay, but this is the freeze-dried celery, so that's in there. Oh, only a little bit left, might as well put it in there. And then the onions. Now, the best part about Thrive Life is that I always have the ingredients that I need for the meals that I make right here at home. None of that carb-laden, sodium-laden prepper food. Uh-uh, nope, nope, not going to happen. Look at that minced garlic. Already minced, right? Okay, so we're going to add a little bit in there because... You can never have quite enough garlic. No, you can't. And then we're gonna put in one small can. What is it, 15 ounce, something like that? Yeah. Oh, this is 10 ounce, okay. 10 ounce can of condensed tomato soup. 
Uh-huh. And we're gonna stir that all up, good stuff. Next, we're gonna put in some carrots. Now, if you wanna have a lot of fun with these, you can take these little carrot dices. I love the fact that they're already diced up. Look at that, almost looks like candy corn, right? Uh-huh, have to eat that one. Okay, but when they come in a circle, you can cut out little jack-o'-lanterns out of these. So much fun, so much fun, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna toss in about the equivalent of, you know, two, yeah, about two big carrot sticks, right? Mm-hmm. Because those are going to emulate our jack-o'-lanterns. Yes, they are. Okay, so we're going to set all of that in there, and we're going to let it work its magic for four hours, or, yeah, five, I'm sorry, four hours on high or eight hours on low. Yeah. Of course, I forgot something. So get yourself some little golden potatoes, whatever kind of potatoes you want. We like the golden. Wash them and then quarter them and stick them in the pot. This is what makes it an awesome hearty stew. Yes. Okay. So super simple, super easy. Don't overthink it. Just get them in there and let them cook up with all that other good stuff. I tell you what, that just smells amazing in there. This is going to be a stick to your bones kind of stew. Perfect. Perfect, witchy brew for all those little goblins out there. So you can set it and forget it and be done. But now, now's the time for the shrooms. While that's cooking away, you can get your shrooms ready, okay? And these are super simple. You want whole mushrooms and you want to cut them in half. So when you turn it like that, it looks like a little jack-o'-lantern, right? You know, the hardest thing for me to find was a straw because we don't use straws, but that's okay. That's okay. So we're going to take these little jack-o'-lanterns and we're going to, dun, 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 oop. we're going to put eyeballs in them. Yes. Look at that. They have little eyeballs. It's awesome. And there you go. So they have little eyeballs. Now you're gonna wait and put the mushrooms in in like the last half an hour before it's time to serve. Come on, there we go. Whoop, big eyeballs. So we're gonna get these all worked up into their scary little selves and we will be back when it's time to add these to the witch's brew. Whoa. This has been brewing away now for a little while and so we're gonna give it a nice stir oh yeah okay now it's time to add the fun stuff are you ready now we add the skulls look at those <laughs> okay so we're gonna let this cook for about 30 minutes that will cook those yummy shrooms just beautifully, and then we will serve it up and we'll have Phil do a taste test. Oh, okay, I just found this trick-or-treater. I'm tempting him with some witch's brew. <laughs> How is it? Mm. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, so it's got the taters and it's got the shrooms. It's got the onions and the carrots. You've got jack-o'-lanterns and little scary skulls. Okay, gotta love the little scary skulls. I think those are the fun part. Okay, so this is our witch's brew for Crocktober. I hope that you all enjoyed this recipe and that you give it a try and that you have a wonderful Halloween. Remember that you need to leave a comment in the comment section down below to enter in for the giveaway that Jenny Goff is doing tomorrow. So be sure to check that out. Remember, if you like what we do here, please hit that like, subscribe, and share. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And until the next time, mwah, ah, ah, ah.